Suzuki had used those three words to describe the core aims of what it's calling the most powerful, hardest accelerating, cleanest running GSXR ever built. And they're making plenty of sense as the bike rips out of Phillip Island's long, late apex, southern loop left-hander, Pacific Ocean glinting to the right, a salty sea smell in my nostrils and the scream of a hard-revving four-cylinder engine in my ears. As its deco bar hits 10 grand and the variable valve timing starts doing its stuff, the Suzuki kicks even harder and rockets forward at shoulder wrenching rate. Moments later it's close to the 14,500 rpm redline and still trying to rip my arms off on the right side of the track as I hold the throttle open and tap the shifter into fourth, then roll off momentarily and nudge the bars to crank it into the long left hander of stoners. Now I'm hanging off the left of the bike at over 100 miles per hour, then straightening it up to brake super hard for the right hand hairpin, and effortlessly treading down two gears with the aid of the super slick shifter. The Suzuki remains poised as the ABS equipped Brambos bite hard, and I squeeze the reshaped petrol tank with my knees in an attempt to keep some weight over the rear wheel. Run. Turn. Stop. Whether it's doing them better than its rivals is something only a back-to-back -back test will tell, but it's definitely doing them all a lot more efficiently than its predecessor. And after a fantastic day at the spectacular Phillip Island aboard the GSX-R 1000R, the more upmarket of the two models, I'm not in much doubt that Suzuki's comprehensively revamped 4 has enough about it to mount a serious challenge. That it has plenty of straight line speed was clear from the opening session. The new 999.8 cc motor makes 202 horsepower at 13,200 rpm, an increase of 17 horsepower, thanks to a host of changes including shorter stroke dimensions, increased compression and Suzuki's motor derived variable valve timing system, a fiendishly simple device attached to the inlet camshaft involving 12 steel balls that are flung out by centrifugal force when the revs reach 10,000 rpm, adjusting the cam timing to improve top-end power.